Finally, we've made it outside on the plaza, counting down to tonight's big event, the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree lighting. As Joe Fryer reports, this year's tree had quite a journey to this spot, right outside our studio. Even before the Rockefeller Center tree is illuminated, it's a selfie-worthy spectacle that's redefining the word sappy. How does it feel to come to New York and see the tree in person? Um, I will cry later. I am, I love it. I'm emotional. I cry at home when I see it on TV. <laughs> I'm a sap for Christmas. This 80-foot tall Norway spruce has roots in upstate New York, where just three weeks ago it towered over the home of Jackie and Matt McGinley. Earlier this year, one of their relatives could see the tree's potential. My brother was just looking at the tree, and he goes, that looks like a Rockefeller Center tree. And I sort of laughed. No joke, about a week later, a stranger pulled into the driveway. My name is Eric. I'm the head gardener from Rockefeller Center. I'm here to look at your tree. And that is how it all started. This month, the tree was cut down, making the three-hour trek to Manhattan. We really hope that people come and make memories at the tree or go to the tree and remember people that they've lost. Like, that's, that's really special for us. The McGinleys are honoring Matt's mom who passed away four years ago. I think she would think it was the coolest thing. Like I keep having this feeling of like, who am I not telling about this? There's somebody that, that I should be, that I feel like I ought to tell, and it's her. A brilliant tribute before a single one of the 50,000 lights is lit. Yeah! A legacy that will soon shine even brighter. Joe Fryer, NBC News, New York. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.